affairs. The bakery known famously as Mr. Christie's will be shutting down. The move will mean the loss of hundreds of jobs and it could mean some major development is on the way. Stephen D'Souza has more. Surrounded by condos on practically all sides, combined with an aging plant, the company running the Mr. Christie Bakery says it had no alternative but to close. Well, the community has, has continued to evolve over the last few years. The closing will cost 550 jobs and opens up a big debate about what should happen to this site. There are many options that could be available for this land. One that was presented was 27 condos, but that's one of many possibilities for land that's a significant. The site is a developer's dream, 27 acres with close access to the highway and waterfront parks. Development around the plant isn't slowing down. In fact, it's expected that 16,000 new residents will move into the area in the next 10 years. The land is zoned for employment. And while the company wants other options studied, the local councillor says jobs are needed. We need these pieces to make the city livable. People need jobs in the city. We can't have big plants like this closing up. Developer Brad Lamb says the city must be realistic. Clinging to uh, the hope that jobs will return to that area is probably not a great idea. He says a development like the downtown city place would go perfectly there. We could really energize the city by creating a downtown west, an Etobicoke downtown west. Local residents aren't thrilled with that idea. Make a park for the people around here, a nice big park. That's what we need. I think we have to start looking at um, traffic issues. Um, if, if more kids are coming in, where are they going to be bused for schools? I think there's a whole infrastructure issue that has to be looked at. The local councillor says he'll fight to keep the land industrial and do everything he can to bring another company here. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, Toronto. Toronto skyline has been evolving for decades. At one point, towers didn't exceed 30 stories, but today... Buildings stretch higher than 60 stories and plans for even taller skyscrapers are in the works. You can see how congested land around the Gardner has become since 95. And here's a look at the waterfront from 1998 to now. Here's another comparison. In 95, there were just over 120,000 condo units in our city. Last year, there were more than 270,000. The pictures don't lie. <laughs> Coming up, the country comes to the city. The Royal Winter Fair officially kicks off. We're going to take you there live right after.